Hello Geminis, welcome to my channel and welcome to your love reading for April 2019. Please like this reading, subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications so that you can get notified of future readings. You can follow me on Instagram at Lunasync. All right, let's sync up. I've already shuffled your cards, I've meditated on your energy. Let's see what's in store for you regarding love and romance for April. All right, so first we're gonna pull a card on you and your energy. I'm gonna move this up. I feel like I'm gonna knock it over. What's up for Geminis? What's up for Geminis in April 2019? What are they contributing to the relating? Oh, ooh, wow. Okay, so you got a lot of energy happening. You're engaged in a lot of activity. You're very fiery and passionate. You're the queen of wands right now. So you might be engaged in a lot of different projects, a lot of different activities. Um, ultimately, what you're bringing to the uh, relating is a very high, fiery, passionate, creative energy. I like the Queen of Wands. It's a woman or a person who really knows how to use their energy well. They have a lot of energy and they know how to cultivate, retain, and distribute their energy um, in a really masterful way. All right, so let's talk about the love interest. What is he or she bringing to the table? What is he or she contributing to the relating? Let's pull a card for your love interest. Just one card, please. What is your love interest contributing to the relating? Where is he or she at in all of this? What's going on for your love interest in April 2019? Oh, here we go. I'm going to pull this one because this is the first one that popped up. Eight of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is very engaged in their work and possibly they are a student. Um, they're, they're studying something right now. They're really um, engrossed and focused on some um, form of studies, maybe possibly their work, um, a new project that they're really sunk deep into. So their focus is, um, their focus is there right now. Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what happens when your energies blend. What are, what's the result of the composite energies? What happens between Gemini and their love interest when they come together? What are the composite energies? Ah, oh, there we go. Having many options, it's the Seven of Cups. It seems like the both of you have quite a lot on your plate these days. You have um, a lot of things to do, um, engaged in a lot of activities. I'm getting that because of the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups together. So having a lot of different options and needing to choose or focus on that one thing that will really serve you or serve your relationship um, and coming together around that. That's the Seven of Cups. All right, and then finally, let's look at what needs to be integrated or the outcome. <clears throat> what needs to be known and understood? What needs to be processed? What needs to be integrated in your relating with one another? Oh, we got two cards that flew out here. We have the star. Ooh, and we have the Queen of Swords. All right, so the star is about healing. It's really about taking a time out and engaging in the healing process. Um, it's also about making a wish. 
So again, I'm getting that sense that there needs to be some sort of intention setting, some sort of focus around um, what the two of you will work on together moving forward in the future. You both seem to need to decide on the one thing that you're going to focus on in your relationship so that there can be a healing. And also because the star is also about making a wish um, or setting an intention, um, I think that that would be something to have a conversation about like what is the focus of um, our time together what is the focus of our composite energies what is the focus of our relationship and how can we work together um, to be focused the queen of swords again um, I'm getting a sense of like a need to make a decision um, she's very decisive she's very clear um, all of her decisions are pretty clear-cut and um, involve a great deal of clarity um, so yes, I'm getting again that there needs to be a decision that's made um, and it needs to be um, definitive. All right, let's pour, pull some more cards. I'm interested in what it is your love interest is focused on. I mean, this is the Eight of Pentacles shows somebody who is really, really, really engaged in this, um, the study of something. Um, and I do see that he or she is Super, pretty super focused, um, though it may not be on your relationship. It could be on, you know, all things tangible and practical like home, um, finance, work. Page of Swords. Yeah, learning something new. Definitely an apprentice of some sort. Learning something new around um, communication, around, um, I don't know, just engaged in like a a lot of thinking, a lot of analytical thinking and learning something new, probably around the, you know, around communication, around science potentially. All right. And then also the queen of wands. Let's look at you, Gemini. What are, what's up for you in your life? Why are you so busy? Why are you showing up as so fiery and passionate and creative? Um, what do you got going on? I don't know. Are you two like working on a new project together? Um, I see these as like two sides of the coin on those. Like he or she's focused on um, something very intently and you're bringing a lot of energy to the table. You have um, everything that you want right now. Your wishes are pretty fulfilled and you're pretty, you're feeling on top of the world. You're feeling like, hey, I got my stuff squared away. You know, like this is, I'm in a good place. Um, so I'm getting a, a sense of like optimism and like feeling like, you know, you have what you need. Um, and you're celebrating that. Like you're in, you're, you're fully aware of that. Um, that's beautiful. All right, let's pull an approach card. As you move through April 2019 with your love interest, what, um, what's your approach? What's your movement through April 2019? Any words of advice for Gemini as they move through April 2019? What decision needs to be made here? I definitely see a sense of... Uh, Needing to make, choose that one cup, needing to make a decision, needing to set your intention, um, needing to um, come from a place of clarity um, and decisiveness. So can we pull, can we have an approach card for Gemini? Oh, okay, thank you. Let's see. Ooh. Um, squirrel, yeah, needing to focus. I think you're engaged in a lot of um, fast moving, um, fast pace activities, moving from one place to one place to one place to one place. Um, we have squirrel reversed. Um, and that really is about like needing to focus. So yeah, take some time out, create a space where you can set your intention and really focus your energy because you have an abundant amount of energy right now. Um, and your partner is engaged in um, a practice of focus and um, really learning something new. And so you got um, energy in your relationship backing 
um, that focus and that intention setting as well. So this is a really nice reading for you throughout April 2019. It looks like things um, are going to be moving ahead. It looks like you have a lot of energy to support you. And there's just a need to set an intention and make a decision and choose that one cup that will really um, serve you in your relationship um, the best. All right. I hope you enjoyed your love reading for 2019 or April 2019. Remember to follow me on Instagram at LunaSync and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell for notifications. I'll be doing a new moon and full moon reading for April 2019. So um, please check back in and I hope you have a beautiful start of spring.